Today, I'm giving you guys my week 15 power ranking. Let's go ahead and get started with the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow got hurt and everybody thought it was the end of the world, but Jake Browning has showed up and showed out. I'm not going to put him in the A category just yet because I don't know if they can compete with those kind of teams, but I'm going to put him in the B. We were putting the New England Patriots in last place because honestly, they were playing like it. They did look very good in that first half versus the Steelers and Bailey Zappi was balling. I'm still going to put him in D. We're not going to put him at the very bottom. About five or six teams that I'm really struggling where to put them in the New Orleans Saints are one of those teams because I think they have a really good defense and they've kind of been playing good football the past two weeks but I don't really trust in Derek Carr or that offense yet to compete with these top tier teams. I'm either going to put them in B or C. I think I'm going to put them in C for right now though. If you're a Saints fan and you're saying no you're crazy you should put them in B I can 100% see that as well. I don't know what's going on in Pittsburgh with these Steelers. The past two weeks they lost to a Cardinals team which isn't the greatest and a Patriots team which is terrible. I've been putting them in B but I just can't no longer. I'm going to have to put you guys in C. The 49ers have just been playing amazing football. They're obviously the best team in the league right now and probably currently my Super Bowl favorite. The Arizona Cardinals had a ball week the last time we saw them they beat the Steelers. It looked pretty good. I'm not going to overhype them too much. I'm still going to put them in the C2. The Atlanta Falcons are another one of those teams I'm kind of struggling where to put them. I think they have really good talent but they haven't been looking the greatest. I think the coaching staff is really holding this team back. This is another team I could see like right there at being in B but I don't think they're just there yet. I'm going to put them in C. The Ravens have been playing amazing football but they did allow the Rams to hold in there for a little bit and they still got the job done it hasn't been flashy at times, but they've been one of the best teams in the league. Obviously, they're going in S. The Bills have been looking like a different team since they fired Ken Dorsey. Beat the Jets, which that's the team they've been struggling against. Almost beat the Eagles and then beat the Kansas City Chiefs as well. I'm not going to put them in the S tier just yet because I don't know if I 100% believe in them. I'm going to put them in the A tier. Carolina Panthers are obviously the worst team in football, so we're just going to go ahead and put them in last. I don't think there's a lot that needs to be said about that. For the past two or three weeks, the Chicago Bears have been looking great, especially for what everybody thought this team was. It looks like Justin Fields is trying to save his job in Chicago and honestly he's doing a great job. I don't know if it's going to happen because it's going to take a lot of courage to pass on Caleb Williams but he should definitely have a starting job next year. It's another team I've been uh, struggling to place. Like I said they've been looking really good. I don't know if I should put them in the B tier just yet though. I think I'm going to put them in C right above the Cardinals. All year the Browns have had a top five maybe even a top three defense but the real reason everybody was kind of questioning if they are going to be a really good team in the playoffs or not is because of that quarterback situation but I'm not gonna lie Joe Flacco has been looking pretty good I think they're gonna be an A obviously a lot of people hate the Dallas Cowboys but I think we can all agree that they showed a huge performance in Sunday Night Football versus the Eagles I think I can finally put them in that S tier Broncos have been looking really good especially the defense and Russell Wilson is doing like the old Russell Wilson thing and they've been beating a lot of pretty decent teams but with that loss to the Texans I'm not 100% sure if they're in that A category just yet I'm going to put them in B, but they could definitely move in A. I think about 80-85% of football fans honestly thought that the Lions could go on a Super Bowl run, but then these past few weeks, they've been struggling a lot. Almost lost to the Bears, lost to the Packers, almost lost to the Saints, then did lose to the Bears. I'm not going to jump ship just yet because I do think they're still a really good team, so I'm going to put them in A, but they're going to have to start showing up or I'm obviously going to move them lower. Titans are one of those handful teams I've been struggling to play because I'm going to be honest, last week, I thought they should be in D or in the bottom of C, but then they just beat the Dolphins. I don't know if I'm going to put them in B just yet. I'm going to put them at like the top-ish of C. The Green Bay Packers and Jordan Love specifically have been looking great these past couple weeks. But then they did just lose versus the Giants and a lot of people are going to put them down in their mind because of that. But I'm still going to put them in B because I do think they're a really good team and I kind of just think that was a mindset thing. I think they kind of just beat the Chiefs and was like oh yeah we can just show up versus this Giants team and we're going to get the win. But I hope they realize now that that can't happen. Houston Texans have been looking really good especially CJ Stroud but they did just lose versus the Jets and they didn't really play good. I was struggling to put them in A in previous weeks because I didn't know if they could handle these top tier teams and this past week it kind of proven to me that they can't and plus with all the injuries I'm going to have to put them in B. And yet we have another team I'm struggling to place is the Indianapolis Colts because they're right in the mix of the playoff situation. I don't think they're really like a great team obviously but I don't think they're a bad team neither. I think I'm going to put them in the top of the C category. I know the score was kind of close with the Jaguars and Browns again. Well, honestly, it doesn't really show how bad the Jaguars play. Trevor Lawrence had a very bad game, but I still do trust in him. I'm going to put him in A for right now. 
but probably at the bottom of it. Speaking of teams that I think are really good, but I am starting to question them a little bit, we have the Kansas City Chiefs in that. Despite all their struggles and all their losses they took, they have Patrick Mahomes, they have Andy Reid, so I still was putting them in this S category, but with everything that happened this past weekend, that offense did not look good at all. I'm going to officially put them in the A category. Honestly, that just looks wrong, though. They've been good for so long. I think throughout the whole entire year, the Rams have been going under a lot of people's radar, even their own fans, honestly. And they just hung in with the Ravens, too, and almost beat them. So I'm going to put them in the B category. This is one of the most disappointing teams in football this year. Justin Herbert's been placed on IR, so he's officially out for the rest of the season. I'm going to put them in C. Be honest, if they didn't have players like Keenan Allen and Khalil Mack on their team, I'd definitely put them in D. The Miami Dolphins are a tough one as well because obviously they've had a really good offense all year but they haven't beaten anybody good. And then they just blew a huge lead versus the Tennessee Titans. Still believe in this team, but I don't think I believe in them enough to put them in S or even the top of A. I think I'm going to put them right behind the Kansas City Chiefs. Y'all know I keep referencing this handful of teams that I've kind of been struggling to where I should put them. And again, the Minnesota Vikings are one of those teams. I think they have a really good defense and it's obviously showing and they're kind of carrying this team. The offense has been struggling to score, so I can't put them too high because of that. I'm going to put them in C probably above the Falcons. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I will put them a little bit lower. I'll put them under the Bears because you need to, like, score points to win games, guys. The Giants were looking god-awful, and everybody thought that their season was done for and once Daniel Jones got hurt. But Tommy DeVito... Tommy DeVito has been looking great. They just pulled off a huge win versus the Packers. The question is, where should they be at in C? So I'm going to put them right in the middle of it here. Jets are a team, again, I'm struggling to rank. Even though they've had a really big win versus the Texans, they're kind of up and down at this point, so I don't trust in them that much. I'm still going to put them in C. I think I'm going to put them right below the Saints. If Zach Wilson shows me that he can put that kind of performance up on a consistent basis, they will go way up, probably around the top of B. Raiders have been looking like a very different team since they fired their head coach, but, but they did just have a zero on the scoreboard, so I can't put them too terribly high. I'm going to put them in like the bottom of the seat. Seattle just lost to the 49ers, which is the 49ers, so I'm not going to put that too much against them. They almost beat the Dallas Cowboys a couple weeks ago as well. I think they still belong in A above the Lions, to be honest. The Buccaneers just beat the Falcons to be in the playoff picture. It's crazy to think they'll probably get a home playoff game. I still don't think they're a really good team. I'm going to put them right here above above the Falcons, who they just beat. I think a lot of people are questioning the Eagles right now because obviously they've been winning games. They only lost like three. But in those games, they've been struggling and it hasn't been flashy. It hasn't been by a lot of points. They've just kind of grinded the other team out. But... Since they got blown out versus the 49ers and got blown out versus the Cowboys, they're going to be questioned a lot, and obviously they should be. I still think they're one of those teams that could figure it out in the next couple of weeks and kind of go on that Super Bowl run once again. So I'm still going to put them in S. The Commanders just had a bye week. They've not been looking good at all, like the middle of D. And that's my Week 15 Power Rankings, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on next time. Peace.